Time is extremely important if you want to automate tasks. Sometimes it can become really frustrating having to type in a particular command over and over again in your terminal. So what bash scripting does is that it takes away that frustration and allows you to compile a list of commands that you want to run. And all you have to do is just run that particular file anywhere on your terminal or on your workspace and it gets executed without having to do it every single time now if you have a fair knowledge of programming concepts such as functions loops um variables conditionals then you have a fair knowledge of working your way around bash scripting and um, just like how other programming languages have their extension such that you're able to recognize them when you see them for instance we have a javascript file and it ends with a.js we have um, a python file ends with a.py when it comes to bash it ends with a.sh so when a file ends with a.sh the terminal knows that it's supposed to run using the bash command so uh, they're just basic things that I'm going to cover in this video that I think you should know if you're just starting out and you want to learn bash scripting. So uh, without wasting much time, I'm just going to go ahead into the video, right? So first of all, we're going to, I'm going to make a, a directory so I can work there i'm going to call this um let's see what do i call it okay let me just call it um bash practice and um i'm going to make this and then i'm going to cd into that directory so now that we're here we can work so let's make a file so we know um that the bash file ends with a.sh so let's call this um, a bash file.sh right and um, you can see that we have a bash file here so um, you can make use of your favorite text editor in editing a bash file you can make use of vi vim gedit personally i prefer nano so i'm just going to use nano for this so all right so this is the interface and um at the very top it's usually it's always recommended to put in the bash um same tag is usually like this so anytime you want to make a bash script you have to put this at the top so let's just do something simple now let's just echo um i am writing a bash script right and let's save this and um, exit this so let's run this right we have two ways that we can run a bash file the first way is to basically use the bash command like this and do this and you see that it echoes the, I am writing the bash script onto the terminal. The second way is to um, make it an executable file because if you look at this, you can see that this is not an executable file. So let's do an ls l here so you understand what I mean. So you can see that this file here is just we can only read right it's only readable and writable so we have to make it executable and the way to do that is to do this which is um let's see okay mm -hmm. file sh right so when we look at this you can see that it's not executable so we can now do um so right now we can do a dot dash bash file dot sh right and you can see we still get the same result so 
congratulations you've just retained your first bash script and um like i said earlier a bash script is just a basic like combination of commands so let's just put in more um more commands so you understand what i mean so under this echo right i'm going to go ahead and let's say let's print the working directory that we are currently in and then let's um let's touch a file called make dinner .txt and um you know let's just do this for now so now let's run it using okay yes run, yeah you see the first thing is we echo this to the terminal the second is we printed the working directory and um the third thing that we did was to touch a file so let's see if it worked so yay here it goes we have make dinner txt so basically i i i believe you can get um what bash scripting does like it helps you to just automate your task and make it easier to work with let's um it's extremely important just like we have variables in um just like we have variables in javascript python we also have variables in bash scripting as well so i'm just going to delete this so we don't run into any issues later so um you know in javascript uh let's say this is how you define a variable let's just say let car equal to what's going on why is it hanging okay let car equal to um toyota right this is basically the way you declare variables in javascript and it's not much different when it comes to bash scripting as well in bash scripting all you have to do is just write this and let's say john so here you notice that i didn't leave any space between name and john and that's because you don't do that in bash scripting there is usually no space and all these things matter a lot spacing and um declaration of variables really matter when it comes to bash scripting so another thing i think you should also know is um when you want to output this a variable into the terminal basically let's look at this for instance echo echo um my name is we can basically just do this name All right okay so let's save this and let's run the file again you can see we have the my name is john um right here so the variable got um, replaced with the right one so another thing you should also know is you can debug in um, bash scripting as well so we can say this command and this basically just gives you an output so why does it it takes everything and just brings it out into the terminal so you know where um, you have an issue we have this positive this positive sign shows that it's good sometimes it might have a negative sign and that shows that there's an error there so right now we don't have any error and that's why we have the positive sign and you can see that we have all the commands that we have already written in the file being outputted into the terminal here all right so now that we have dealt with that right let's look at something else let's look at um multiple variables we've looked at um single variables so let's look at um, multiple variables this time around so let's go ahead and make another variable let's declare another variable called age equals to um 
20 and um, right here we're just going to say my name is John and I am age so so um yeah I think sorry I don't think I'm supposed to do that no. I'm not supposed to put that in the terminal. Um, there are other ways you could do this, right? Um, but I'm trying to make it so easy to understand. So basically, I'm pretty sure you, you, you get what I'm trying to do because this is basically just... Um, Trying to print this out in one go. So let's execute this now. I'm sorry, type in the wrong command. Okay, so we see my name is John and I am 20 years old. I put it into the terminal. And um, so let's talk about parameters now. And um, I'm just going to go back to the file that we were working on and I'm going to just um, okay let's just um, delete this so we're going to take parameters from the user right now or arguments from the user and um, this is basically one way to declare a parameter and um, And I'm just going to delete this one so it doesn't get so confusing. Um, so this time around, we're not hard coding it, and we're just basically basically going to return whatever the um, we're basically going to return whatever the user output um, inputs into the terminal, right? So I'm going to say welcome, welcome, and um, I'm going to exit this. So I'm going to run this again. I can see we get. Uh, I was supposed to ask me for something. What's going on? Okay. Um. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Mm, I think there's an error somewhere. Okay. Alright, so let's try this. Okay, so I'm just going to go to this file and um, I think after this you have to put in a read name so it basically reads this input here and it makes um, inputting the arguments really easy so um, let's try this I'm going to save this I'm going to exit so let's say Let's run this again. So here we can see that this thing is hanging, which means it's waited for an input from me. So I'm just going to say my name is Jane, and you can see it gets printed right here. Now let's talk about arrays in Bash scripting. I'm going to delete this because we don't need it anymore for now, though. So arrays are basically just arrays, right? They are used to store multiple pieces of data in one variable and um, it can be extracted. Each piece of um, data stored can be extracted using their indexes and we all know that in arrays, the index starts from zero. So let's uh, create an array called transport um, equals to 
so I'm going to name this and now we have um, let's say car um, train bus and um, let's just say plane so here is our data that has been stored into a variable called transport which is an array and um here let's just um go ahead and echo let's echo this which is i'm um, going to be heavy status and um, we have the transport here and here we're going to put in an art sign right just like this and then um, let's go ahead and save this and see what this gives us. Hmm? I don't know why my system is messing up. Okay, so here we have one um, file. So we see that we have the entire array outputted. So what the app does is that it um outputs everything inside that particular array. For you so let's just say we want to select a particular element in there so let's talk about conditionals now right um i mean you can't talk about you know scripting or program language without talking about conditionals right so conditionals are like you know conditionals like um if else and so on and so forth so the first example that we're going to give in trying to understand what conditionals are is um, let's say value equals to hello right say hello and um input let's just make this input from the user equals to one right so now i want to check if value um, is equals to input if value is equals to input they want something to happen and if it's not they want something to happen so we do this um with a space here and then put um value sorry value here and then the equals to sign as usual and then here the same thing we put the inputs here and then here we close off with the stuff right and um what we want to happen so if value equals to input we put then um echo this it is equal and if it's not equal then do this else um, echo it is not equal right and then we have to close it using this just the syntax that you have to follow when you deal with javascript and um just so we could um understand this and one thing i forgot to mention is when you're dealing with inputs this like this takes the first argument from the user right this parameter takes the first argument from the user if you want it to take the second argument you can make turn it to two you want to take the third three four so that's basically how you do that and um so i'm just going to go ahead and run this And you can also like read input right so it makes it makes it really easy for you to understand so because i'm not using read i'm not using reading now so it's just going to let me just run it now it's probably going to throw an error i'm just trying an error because i have nothing and uh, because i'm not using the read input format if i was using the read input format i will have that you know that cursor stuff hanging like 
hanging here is like this and um, you know like I'll be able to impute um, my value right so um, we know that our value is hello right so let's go ahead and write um, hello we can see that we have and it is equal because hello equals to my input so the conditionals are working fine so that's how you do conditionals in uh, in bash scripting now let's do something more a little bit more complex right so let's say file name i'm just going to make this file name equals to this parameter and um, if this um, the f and we um, have this farming here and then we're gonna break this off and then we're gonna break this off So then we want to do this echo um hello there and we want to copy this into this file name right and um else we want to let's say I also want to touch this and um want to touch the file name right and um, want to do let's um let's echo falling file as in copied into it right so we have to define so there we go uh did it again mm. so here we go so basically what this command does is it's going to take a file name from the user and it's going to check if this file name exists and if this file name exists it's going to check if it is a writable file and once it's you know confirmed that this is true then it's going to echo an hello there into this file name that exists right else if this file name does not exist it's going to touch the file name and um, it's going to echo file has been copied into the file name so let's go ahead and text test this see if it works and so i'm going to do this i'm going to check this and then i'm going to put in a file name called p right and you can see nothing happened but let's see what happens you can see we have p here and we didn't even have a file name called p so it basically named name, it basically made this file name because we didn't have a file name named p and um let's see what is in p right so 
here we see that we have file has been copied just as we specified um, just like we instructed it to do so that's basically how you do conditionals when it comes to bash like i said there are so many other commands so many other um, things you probably need to learn and this just covers the basic um let me know if you gain something from this video i would be willing to hear from you thank you for watching